Merry Meet Friends, Vix here and I have got some real goodies to show you today. First up, I've put it somewhere I shouldn't have. First up is this. How beautiful is that? So this is the first month of, I'm going to show you this, Temporal Spins Witches Blanket Club. Um, and I just, I am so in love with this. I'm going to need to find something really special to make. Ooh, dare I make a blanket? I'm not a huge fan of making blankets. We'll see. If you've got any ideas, um, I think it's a 10 month club and I'm getting 100 grams of DK a month. So if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments because it's going to need to be something good. Um, and then this turned up. So this is the first month of the 2024 Die Shack Gemstones Blanket Club, which means I can continue knitting my Wideford sweater. But I'm not going to show you the colours. You'll have to wait for that one. So last weekend was the third East Anglia Yarn Festival and it's close to where I live so we I mean we didn't go last year we went the first year we missed last year um, but this year I actually met up with a group of friends and we rented a house and we made a weekend of it uh, it's something that we're going to start doing every year choose a yarn show find a house and all meet up together and it's just it's so much fun so goodies um i can't show you the first one it's a secret sorry about that um so one stall that i think was on all of our lists was the yarn badger the yarn badger makes primarily self-striping sock yarns so we we have a few sock knitters in the group um myself included but I'm just not overly enjoying knitting socks recently. I used to knit them all the time. Um, I wanted last year to do a pair of socks every month and I think I knitted half of a sock. So there you go. So to reinvigorate my love of socks, we have this. Now, this is DK self striping with um oh my god what is it called um you know an extra bit for the toes and the cuffs my brain's very tired anyway so obviously DK socks are going to knit up a lot quicker than sock weight socks so I'm hoping you know if I get a pair off the needles then it will spur me into making some more um so then one of the main things that i was looking for was between one and four skeins to make this top that i've fallen in love with um i found some yarns from my stash and i swatched it and they just weren't right it needs to be quite a high contrast and the base color is kind of a pale lilac and then one of the contrast colours I chose was a blue with a few like speckly bits in. But the blue had too many patches of cream that then weren't showing up against the lilac on the base. So we have here a beautiful semi-solid, a really stunning, it's almost a teal almost a teal um but this is yak sock so it is super soft it's a little bit special it was also in the bargain bin so that will look stunning and then i bought uh, i did actually buy five but i've already balled one up and cast it on this is Sirens by the Die Shack. 
and it is stunning. I'm not sure that the light in here is really picking that up quite right, but it's just gorgeous and it's so me and Naomi at the Dye Shack is, is so lovely that I knew I wanted a sweater quantity of yarn and of course Naomi was my first stop for that. So I'm really chuffed and to be honest looking at it that's not a huge amount of yarn is it? But while we were there we also did a spinning workshop. Well, some of us did a spinning workshop. And look, I spun some yarn. I don't know how well you can look. Now, first attempt, obviously it's, it's very art yarn, but spinning is something that, that I've been interested in for a while. So obviously, I um I then had to go and get a kit from the lady that was doing the workshop and to be honest I was very pleasantly surprised at the price of this kit um because you get a drop spindle and you get four different types of fiber now I I can't remember what these are uh, I'm afraid I mean I, I I'm not even sure where my piece of paper is I don't know which one's which if you see what I mean um but drop spindle fiber and the bag that it came in it only should have been 30 pounds anyway but because we did the class with her we then also got 10% off now I don't know about you but that feels really reasonable to me I was I was very impressed and I was very excited. I still am very excited. I haven't I haven't tried it yet because I want to um I want to wait until I've got a day where I can sit and spin a full day and where I'm not feeling quite so foggy. Um so and I promised myself I wasn't going to buy a project bag, but you know, I felt like I needed a project bag to put my drop spindle in and it glows in the dark. Fabulous. Um, and now I don't, I don't really want to get this out of the bag because it might go everywhere. Let's, shall we do it anyway? Okay, I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I bought a bat. Um, so wish me luck with that. <laughs> I'm so excited and to be honest um, the lady that ran the class I'm really sorry I don't know what her name was but she is from here we go can you see that mm, maybe not um, the slow yarn spinner is is her shop name um, and she was so lovely and she kept reminding us that you know a you don't need to be perfect on your first try even though one of my friends totally was, she was getting such even, consistent, beautiful yarn on her very first try. <clears throat> um, yeah, so the, the lovely lady that was running the class was reminding us that it doesn't need to be perfect first try. You know, there is, there is value in everything and it's something I really need to remember because I just, I want everything to be perfect and to be right as soon as I start. As soon as I start, I want to be perfect at something. And I, I really hate that about myself because it's it's so wonky. Um, but I'm so excited about this, you know, ridiculously wonky, uneven piece of yarn. So I'm very excited to get some more spinning done. Um, so that's that's what I bought at the yarn show. Um, but the day before the yarn show, um, I went early to Norwich and spent the day at Blickling Hall, which is one of my absolute favorite places. Um, but I had a little bit of an accident in the shops. Um, 
but I was on holiday so it was okay um, so the first one I had to buy is this King's Mistress Queen's Servant by Tracy Borman um, and it's about Henrietta Howard who was I think the sister of one of the owners of Blickling Hall um, but there's lots of lots of portraits of her and I absolutely fell in love with one of the portraits but there wasn't there wasn't a bookmark um, a postcard or anything um, but fell in love with this portrait <clears throat> and she's got a really interesting history so I had to have that when I saw it and then I picked up this the first time forager this is a bit of a weird one, but I love the idea of foraging. You know, we live in the countryside and I would love to be able to point out to the kids, oh, you know, that's that's such and such, grab a leaf, you can eat it kind of thing. So um, I just wanted to get something really, really basic to, to learn with the kids, really. I love, I love the idea of edible plants. So we'll see about that one. Um, next, I found this, The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. This has been on my radar for a little while. Um, being a thriller about writers, you know, that's, I, I feel like that's a no brainer for me really. So I'm excited about that one. Um, don't judge me. I've never read it. I've never read it so I, I don't know what else to say really and then I discovered these now I think these are a bit oddly titled when I first saw the ultimate Dracula I thought that was going to be um you know Dracula with like some extra bits um, and, and same with, same with the Frankenstein, but then I saw the werewolf one and I'm like, well, there isn't a book called werewolf. Um, but picking them up, they're books of short stories. Um, but they've, I, d I don't know what I'm trying to say. They're books of short stories and I'm... I'm not generally one for short stories. Um, I have read a few more, obviously read a lot of novellas and shorter books last year. Um, I was gifted um, an anthology of horror short stories for Yule, but they're just not, given the choice, I will always pick up a full length novel, but I just couldn't resist them, especially since they had all three. And looking at some of the authors, Dracula obviously has got some Anne Rice in there, but Frankenstein has got Kurt Vonnegut in there. Now I've never read, to my knowledge, anything from him, but um, Anne Kent mentions him quite a lot and I love I, I love the content that she puts out. So I'm kind of trying to seek out some more of the authors that she talks about that she enjoys a lot. So yeah, so that was that was a dreadful accident to have at one of my favorite places ever. Um, but then when I then got home on the Monday, I realized that um, I hadn't actually spent as much money as I thought I had. So I then also had a little accident on Amazon. Um, so Aliens Phalanx. Um, this one is, it's the one that Aliens fans, I think talk about the most. This one and River of Pain, which to be honest is not my favourite, um, but I haven't read this one, so I thought I've got a little bit of a little bit of play money left over, um, and then Songbirds and Snakes on DVD because I love the Hunger Games. Um, so 
But that still isn't all, because while I was away, this arrived. Can you see that? I am so excited. So I have been a fan of Edward's Menagerie almost since it came out. Um, the first one that I made was actually, it was included in a magazine and I'd bought the magazine and I immediately made this adorable sheep and the memory came up on my Facebook the other day of me <laughs> having a nap on the sofa cuddling this sheep um, from 10 years ago and the book is now 10 years old so I've been there almost since the beginning um, and 2014 was also a big year for me and my husband because that was the year we got married so um, I, ha I had to do it. I held out as long as I could but I had to do it. So this is the updated Edwards Menagerie. Um, my daughter and I have already chosen um, the, the first animals that we'd like um, and I might dig out my original book and see how the patterns differ because they look different to me I feel like the arms look shorter or something so that might be quite a fun comparison to make sorry guys I'm having technical difficulties over here so um because I bought the book direct from Toft the book is signed love a signed book um also comes with a special patch to go on my stash bag um, and you get the bonus patterns. Whenever you buy a book direct from Toft, you get the bonus patterns, which I haven't actually looked at yet. So maybe that's what I'll go and do now. Um, so there we have it. Um, if you made it this far, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, drop me a comment. Tell me what you think I should do with that witches blanket club. Um, hit the like if you fancy it. Maybe subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and I'm going to go and play with some yarn. Bye.